Crazy. All right, guys. Oh my God. I think I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think it's about three o'clock. Um, so I am Coach Shiloh. I'm one of the new coaches for the Academy. Um, this is my daughter, Holland. She's six. She's in the Academy as well. And so we're going to start with a workup, um, a workout. We're going to do three steps. First, we're going to warm up. Then we're going to do some ball skills. And then the third and final one is fitness and conditioning. So if you have, um, you know, if you're thirsty, if you need a break, go ahead and take it. This is meant to be fun. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be fun. So just stay with me. Do your best. And if you need a break at any time, go ahead and take it. We're going to start. Um, put your balls to the side right now because we're going to just do a warm up first. We're going to start with jumping jacks. And 30 seconds. Keep going. You guys are doing great. All right, and take a breather. All right, you guys are doing great. Hang in there. All right, just a nice little warm up. Next, we're going to pretend we have a jump rope, okay? So just pretend, and we're gonna jump up and down and just, just swing and just pretend we have a jump rope, okay? We'll do 30 seconds of that for our next part of our warm up. Ready, and 30 seconds, go. You can mix it up, you can do the crossover, you can do double, <laughs> just pretend and have fun. You guys are doing great, keep going. Almost there, you guys got it. And done. All right, shake your legs out, relax. If you need a sip of water, grab what you gotta, grab whatever you need. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is just run in place. Again, 30 seconds, just run in place. If you're feeling great, you wanna run fast, great. If you just wanna jog, that's okay too. All right, 30 seconds and go. Keep going, we're almost there. And done. All right, grab a, um, a sip of water and then grab your soccer ball. Because our next, next things that we're doing is a little bit of skill work with the ball. So sip of water, grab your soccer ball. You guys are doing great. You finished one part already, one part done. You guys all right? You guys ready for the next part? The next part will be ball work. It'll be toe touches. You can go as slow as you want, like this. For those of you that are older and more skilled, you guys can actually go quicker. And it's just about keeping your hands right here and being on, you know, having control with the ball, making sure it doesn't slide away from you, to stay on top of it. Once again, either slow or fast, either way. We're gonna do 20 seconds on. Are you guys ready? And 20 seconds, go. Nice and light on the top of the ball with the bottom of your foot. You guys are doing great. Once again, you can do it nice and slow or you can do it quick. Up to you. Slow or fast. But maintaining control of the ball is the key. And done. Shake your legs out. We'll do 20 seconds again in just a few seconds. Just catch your breath. You guys are doing great. All right. You guys ready for the next 20 seconds? Ready and go. Keep it up. Nice and controlled. You guys are doing great. And done. Excellent. 
Once again, grab a sip of water if you need it. Catch your breath. Let me demonstrate the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna do inside of the foot, kind of pass the ball in between your feet. Just like this. Once again, slow and as fast as you possibly need. But we're gonna, it's all about control and keeping the ball in between your feet. 20 seconds again. Ready and go. Come on guys. You guys got this. Nice and controlled in between your feet. Remember, it can be as slow or as quick as you need. Almost there. Keep going. And done. Okay, relax your body. Shake it out, catch your breath. We'll do 20 seconds again in just a few seconds. Super impressed, you guys are doing awesome. You guys ready? 20 seconds? Here we go. Love it. Remember, right between your feet, using the inside of your foot. And done. Awesome job, guys. The next thing I'm gonna demonstrate is more ball work. It's kind of maybe a somewhat of a weird skill, but I'm gonna build on it. So the next thing is gonna be built upon. So but what we're gonna do next is gonna sit down, just sit like this, and we're gonna just touch the ball with the top part of your foot. Not your ankle, not your shin, not your toes, just this top part of your foot. So we're just gonna focus on that. This is an early part of juggling. What I eventually wanna work you guys to um, is having kind of the ball control you need to juggle the ball and work on your skills. I really think that you guys can do this and we'll start with this very fundamental basic step, just doing this. We'll do 20 seconds and go. Just gonna hold it straight out with the top of your foot. Almost kind of point your toe a little bit, just so it doesn't actually, your toes don't get in the way. This top of the foot is where your laces will be. You can stop where your laces will be when you have your cleats on, which I don't have inside my house. But um, anyway, so eventually what you want to do is be learn how to juggle with the laces of the top of your foot. We're going to do 20 seconds of that again, and then we'll move on to the next step that we'll build on this one. Ready, and 20 seconds, go. Gonna use your core too. Your core should be nice and tight. Right in here should be nice and tight as you hold the ball out and just touch it with the top of your foot. You guys are doing great. I love it. And done. All right, this is gonna do one second. The next step, what we're gonna do next is kind of the very beginnings of juggling. We're just gonna pop the ball up very gently. We're not gonna hit it to the ceiling. We're not gonna break anything in, in your room. Just nice and gentle control with the top of your foot. And we're gonna do 20 seconds of that and then take a break and then do another 20 seconds. Nice and controlled. And it's okay, if you knock it out and you have to go get it, just start again. No big deal, all right? 20 seconds and go. Nice with the top of your foot, nice and controlled. Eventually, we'll do this while standing up. And we're just gonna start small. Okay, and take a break. All right, you guys need a drink of water? Take a breather, that's okay. Maybe you're getting a little sweaty, I am. It's a little warm, okay. Ready, we're gonna do another 20 seconds. Just ball control and go. You can use both feet, ideally, so you have control and touches with both feet. The more touches you get, the better, more skilled you become as a player. You guys are doing amazing, I'm so proud of you. Keep it up. 
and done. All right, you guys can do this at home. And eventually, we'll work on juggling while standing up on your thigh with your foot. Eventually, we'll get there. We'll take it one step at a time. Awesome job, I'm gonna take a break. The next part that we're going to do is gonna be the fitness and conditioning. So you can put your ball to the side and grab some water. I'm impressed. You guys are working hard and I appreciate it. All right, the next part, what we're gonna do is if, with the fitness and conditioning, we're gonna start with a push-up. Now, not everyone can do a full-on push-up. So there's several things. Here, I'm gonna demonstrate a push-up, then I'm gonna show you a modified push-up for those who aren't quite there yet. When you do a regular push-up, your hands are gonna be right here under your shoulders and your body's gonna be straight like a board. And when you go down, you keep your body straight. For those that aren't quite there yet, for the younger people, you can use your knees and do a push-up like this. Once again, keeping your body straight. We're not doing this, we're not doing this. We're keeping our body straight this way or straight this way, okay? We're gonna do 20 seconds of push-ups and then take a little break and do 20 seconds more. And go. Keep going, do your best as you can. If you need to take a break, that's okay. You guys can do this. All right, and stop. Shake it out. We'll do another 20 seconds. Once again, you can start off doing a couple push-ups and then go to your knees. You guys can mix it up and make it work for you. Um, all right, you guys ready for another 20 seconds? Shake your arms out. And we're gonna go to another 20 seconds, go. And stop. All right, I'm sure that was hard work. We're all beginning to sweat. Good job. Relax your body, and we'll move on to the next thing in just a second. That is the plank. Let me show you what a plank is. You're gonna be on your forearms, and once again, you're gonna be keeping your body tight. There's no sagging, it's like this. And we're gonna do 20 seconds of that. So just catch your breath, and then we'll move on. All right, ready? We're gonna play, 20 seconds, and go. Nice and tight. If you need to put your knees down for a second, that's okay. Then pick them back up and hold your body tight. You guys can do this. You can feel it in your core. A nice tight core helps you become a better soccer player because a lot of your power comes from your core. And stop. What I mean by core is right here, your middle section, your stomach, your abs. Um, that provides a ton of power, running, kicking the ball, shooting. So this, it's important to be strong in here. 20 more seconds, ready? Right on your forearms, and go. You guys are doing great. Once again, if you get tired and you need to put your knees down, you can. Nice and flat, straighten out your back. Keep holding, keep holding, you guys got this. You guys are amazing. Couple more seconds, hang in there, and done. You guys are beasts, absolutely amazing. The next thing that we're gonna do, after you guys take a breather, I'll demonstrate. It's kind of this, um, a shoulder touch. You're gonna start like a plank like this, except on your hands, and you're gonna touch your alternate shoulders for 20 seconds. You can also um, do your elbows too. That's true, she, she's right. So if you can't quite get up there, just do it. Just touch your forearm, touch your elbow. All right. Ready, shoulder touches, 20 seconds, and go. Keep going, you guys got this. Nice and tight in your core. Almost done. And done. Take a breather, you guys are doing 
amazing. Do another 20 seconds of that, and then we're moving on to a different body part. All right, you guys ready? 20 more seconds, shoulder touches, go. Keep going, we're almost there. You guys are doing great. And stop. Awesome, all right. Get some water, loosen up, shake it out, and we'll move on to the next body part. We're gonna do something with our back, called the Superman. Let me show you what that is and I'll demonstrate it and then we'll do it. Basically, you're laying completely down like this, just like a Superman. And you're gonna bring your legs and your arms up towards the ceiling and hold and then release, and hold and then release. And 20 seconds of that, that works your back into your glutes. It's a really good exercise. All right, you ready, Helen? Mm -hmm. All right, 20 seconds, Superman. And go, up and release, up and release. Keep going, 20 seconds. Only about halfway there. Keep going. And done. You guys can just rest here because our next step will be doing another 20 seconds of the Superman. Yep, just rest, lay down, take a moment. It's a good workout. You guys are doing really great. Really, really excited to see what you're doing and how hard you're working. All right, 20 seconds, Superman, and go. Up and release, up, release. Good. Good job, keep it up. Almost done and finished. Awesome. All right, our next thing that we're gonna be working on is called squat jumps. We're gonna get down like you're sitting in a chair and you're gonna jump up. And we're gonna do that for 20 seconds. For those of you that aren't quite ready for the jumping up part, you can just go up and down. You don't have to jump. Now that's gonna work your quads, that's gonna work your leg muscles. For those that jump, you can even push off and use your calves. So, um, all right, 20 seconds, squat jumps. Ready, set, go. Up. Keep going, guys. If you're sitting in a chair, and popping up. Work those muscles. You guys got it. Really good, and done. Okay. <laughs> Holland's getting tired. Shake it out, we're almost there. Hang in there. All right, 20 seconds more, squat jumps. You guys ready? Here we go, and go. And done. You guys should feel that. That should be burning right here in your thighs. All right, shake it up. Get a sip of water. And then we'll do another leg exercise in just a second. The next exercise we're gonna do is like this lunge, hold. You're gonna get down to a lunge, pretty deep, sit down into it, like push down into it. You're gonna raise your arms up. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds and then switch legs. We're gonna start off with our right leg forward first. So your right leg forward, keep into the lunge. 20 seconds, go. Put your arms up and go. And you're just gonna hold it. And eventually you'll feel the burn because it's kind of a hard position to hold for a long period of time. Keep going, keep going. Hold it and stop. 
Excellent job. Shake it out. And we're gonna switch legs. Now your left leg will be going forward. Sit back into that lunge again. Kind of push down, down into that lunge. Hands up, 20 seconds, go. You guys got this. You guys are super strong and fit. You guys can do this. You can feel the burn, but it's only for a few more seconds. Hold it, hold it. Hang in there and done. Well done. That's not an easy one, that's a hard hold. Okay, now we're gonna start with some, just some abs, some ab workout, working on your core again. We're gonna go back to the core. We're gonna sit down and just do some sit-ups. Just basic sit-ups, keeping your feet to the ground. You can put your hands here, you can put your hands here. It doesn't matter how you wanna do it. 20 seconds of sit-ups, ready and go. Come on, you guys. We're towards the end of the workout. You guys have got this. Keep it up. Once again, a strong core really helps you become a strong soccer player. You're doing great. Keep it up, Paul, and you got it. All right, that's 20 seconds. So sit right here. Just take a breather, relax. We'll do another 20 seconds of sit-ups. We're really close to the end, guys. Absolutely excellent. All right, ready? 20 seconds, sit ups again, and go. Keep going, and done. I think Holland's done. <laughs> we have one more exercise and then we are done. So it's two 20 second little intervals and then we're completely done with the workout. We'll do a couple stretches, but then really you're done after this next exercise. It's another core exercise. Once again, working in here, working your abs. It's like a twist. You can get your soccer ball if you want. And what we're gonna do is hold your body in a V position, just like this. And you're gonna bring the soccer ball to either side for 20 seconds just back and forth if you don't want to use your ball you can just use your hands put them together and just use your hands yes your feet need to be off the ground so you're in a v holding your head and shoulders up and holding your feet up ready grab your ball or, or interlace your hands and go don't let your feet touch the ground you guys have got this Side to side. Come on, 20 seconds go fast. Got 10 seconds. Hold it. You guys got it. Work it. Almost there. Keep going and stop. You should feel a burn right here in your abs, especially your obliques, which is the side of your abs, these muscles right here. All right, take a breather. Last one, 20 seconds, and then you guys are done. And we'll just do a couple stretches to cool down. Absolutely amazing. You guys just completed a hard workout. Ready? Last 20 seconds. V, feet up, shoulders up, and go. Keep going. Come on, push it to the end. Finish strong. You guys got it, last few seconds, keep going. And done. Woo! I hope you guys feel that. Here, go into like a mermaid pose. Stretch out your abs. Stretch out your back and your abs like a mermaid. Hold that nice and st stretch it out. Get back on your knees. And then just stretch, stretch like this. You put your chest to your, to your legs. All right, and we're gonna stand up. Put your hands to the ceiling. And then go down and touch your toes. Just stretch it out. You guys were absolutely incredible. Shake it out. You guys just worked super hard. That was an excellent, excellent effort on each one of your parts. 
I'm gonna unmute it. So if you guys wanna talk and say hi to everyone, you guys can, or Mason, you got that? Mm -hmm. All right, my son is filming me. Um, um, okay, so you guys can now talk to your friends. And good job, super proud of each one of you. Well done. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, I'm finished. Hi. 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 Thank you, Thank you. Good job, Tyler. How was it, Tyler? I don't think Helen. Tyler's gonna play ball down on my hand. What is happening? Hello. Four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Ah! Hello. Hey, Hey, I go, Tana. Hi. 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 Hi, guys. I miss everybody. Oh, <laughs> Oh. Oh. All right, bye guys. I'm going to turn it off. Have a great day and we'll talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.